Hi, my name is Shannon Barkey and I am a two-time Olympic medalist in the sport of freestyle mogul skiing. I am also a loving wife, mother of two, an entrepreneur currently running Team Empower Hour, a ski champion at Deer Valley, and the author of a new children's book, Mommy, Why Is Your Hair Pink? Keynote speaking is one of my biggest passions in life. I thrive on creating a connection with an audience, and I love sharing my story because I believe we see powerful glimpses of our own possibilities in the stories and inspiration of others. I show people the tools I used in my Olympic journey and have implemented into my own businesses to help them see how they can apply these same tools into their everyday lives to be more productive and wildly successful. I have spoken on numerous topics that have positively impacted diverse audiences. Developing a winning mindset. Empowered leadership. And living your best life. I am confident my story and insights can ignite your audience and plant seeds of possibility in each person. If you put your trust in me to engage with your audience, it will be a once in a lifetime experience they will never forget. They will be inspired to see themselves differently and empowered to achieve goals they never thought possible. Take a peek at these clips from my most popular speech, Dream, Believe, Achieve, to see me in action. Welcome, Shannon Barkey. Oh, it's so cool. Well, if that didn't make you feel Olympic enough, I have one more thing for you. Although I feel like I'm falling short, right? Like you guys are the best of the best, crushing it. And I never won a gold medal. I only won a silver and a bronze. But if you guys just squint and you hold them together, it almost <laughs> looks gold. Okay? So just think about that. So I'm going to pass these around. Um, this is my Olympic silver medal that I actually won here at Deer Valley. Um, on the run champion in the Salt Lake City 2002 Olympics. And the cool thing about this medal is I was America's first medal. So, how cool! <laughs> Thankfully, that year I made the U.S. ski team. And it was so cool, right? Like, I had beat out all these people from the U.S. Like, I was one of the top mogul skiers in the country. And then I took the world by storm. I went to my very first World Cup in Quebec, Canada and I got second, second to last, second to last, yeah. It was so impressive, I mean, people really took notice of me. They were like, wow, that girl, she's got a lot, we gotta watch out for her. At that moment, I knew that everything that I had done, my passion, you know, my love for the sport, I needed, I needed something different, and I, I didn't really know at the time, you know, how to get better. All I'd just been imitating people, and it was so incredible to be a part of the U.S. ski team. All of a sudden, I had full-time coaches. We traveled the world all year round so that we could ski. We didn't have any lack of training in between the seasons. I had a full-time nutritionist to tell me that McDonald's was bad, because I didn't know that at the time. And you know, I, uh, suddenly I was surrounded by this team of incredible people that were there to help me try and follow my dream. And that year that I made it, I thought, oh my gosh, I might have a shot in four years competing here in Salt Lake City for my country in the Olympics. And that lit a fire under me that I just, I will never forget. You have to learn how to execute in your mind, in your vision, perfect mogul runs. And I was like, perfect mogul runs? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's already up there. Uh, I was like, perfect mogul runs? Well, I mean, but nothing's ever perfect. And he said, I know. But when you step in that gate and you have to perform at your very best and you're the most nervous and you don't think that you can do it, your body has to go into autopilot. And I was like, wow, I never even thought of it that way. And he said, you know what? I know that everybody talks about practice makes perfect. And he's like, that's BS. Perfect practice makes perfect. Okay, so I flew out to Vermont and I worked with him. And every day he pushed me doing things I never thought was possible. Like I was jumping on a trampoline really soon into rehab, which I think my, my surgeon just about like leapt out of his chair and like passed out. He's like, don't do that. And I'm like, no, I'm doing it. And not only am I doing it, I'm doing it really well and I'm strong. So, but at the end of everything that he did, he was like, all right, one more, one more. And I'm like, oh. We've been at this for four hours. I don't want to do one more. And he's like, one more, one more. 
And one day it completely hit me. This is my competitive advantage. Everything that you do, if you do one more, imagine what can happen. I thought about it. So I went back to you know training. I would go there for a block of time and then come back for training. And we train all together. All the US ski team, we have the same workout. We train together. We do everything. How are you going to beat people that you're doing the exact same thing? So, you know, I'm kind of wild and crazy. I'm in, I'm in the gym and we're doing four sets of 10 squats. I did four sets of 11. We ran a 100 yard dash. I ran 101 yards. And imagine those things that you do every day if you did one more. And in business, it's, you know, if you're sitting around a table and, and you're, you know, you're mingling an event, talking to one more person. If you ask that one more question, to make sure that your customer understands what you're selling and that they know exactly what it is. Just one more question. Everything that you do one more time makes such a big difference in what goes on and what the outcome is. So you think about a year, every four years, a whole career, when you stand in that gate and you have, and you have everything on the line, you know for certain that you have outworked your competition. So I flew out to St. Louis and I had the chance of working with a spectacular man. And one of the first things that we did, he said, okay, all right, I want you to write your goal. What do you want? What do you really, really want out of these next two years? What is it? And I said, man, it is to stand on the top of that podium and win a gold medal. He said, awesome. So I want you to draw that, but I want you to use all of your five senses. So when you're standing on that podium, what does it feel like? What do those shoes feel like? What does the fabric of your jacket feel like? Well, it's a leather roots like Olympic jacket. So I was like, ooh, that feels good. So I drew it on there, what that felt like. And what did I see? I saw all my family, all of Team USA cheering for me, the people that had come there to see us compete. And what did I hear? Well, all of them cheering, of course. In that moment, I chose to change my attitude and I chose to choose to win. Not to give up and not to just go back up there and be okay, but to win. So I sat on, I sat on that chair and I thought, no way. I have worked way too hard. I have done everything under the sun that I know how to do to be the best that I can be up to this moment. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna win another medal. I'm going to show people that this is a Shannon Barkey. This is the old lady that's back here after two knee surgeries and a broken jaw. And I'm going to whip a little ass out there. <laughs> so it's a little embarrassing. So we go up there and, you know, I love music and I love to dance because I'm really good at dancing. And so I'm up there and I'm listening. Um, Miley Cyrus, <laughs> party in the USA, right? That's okay. It's okay. So I'm listening to Miley Cyrus party in the USA and I, and I look around and I see two of my teammates that are in first and third, right? Like they're, I mean, they're primed to win a medal. And I, and I took out my earbuds and I gave it to them and I'm like, girls, it is day one of the Olympics. We are the best country in the world right now in mogul skiing. We have to, we have to prove to everybody back in the USA that we are going to get these Olympic games rolling. Let's sweep the podium. Let's do it. All three of us, let's make it happen. So we were like, party in the USA, woo! And then, you know, we got the five left to go, four left to go, three left to go, two, I'm in the gate. And it's just pouring down rain. And I know that in this moment, I have every single thing in my bag of tricks to execute what I want to execute. I know that I have perfectly practiced at this point, hundreds and thousands of mogul runs. I have done one more for the past eight years, every single day. And I have set goals that have set me up for success. And I have a huge smile and I know that I can do it. So this is my run in 2010. You must absolutely set aside your fear of failure and be 100% committed to succeeding beyond your wildest dreams. Because if you do that, you will. I'll believe in you. Thank you. If you are ready to change lives, what are you waiting for? Let's connect so we can start planning this incredible experience together.